Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. Solution. Okay, let's do this in two ways. The first method involves the use of log within, right? So we have um, the first method, 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 8. Now, when you're adding this, you add it as if you're adding a variable like x, like y, like a, because a plus b is 2a, right? So 2 to power x plus 2 to power x will give us 2, 2 to power x. I believe that is understandable. So that we can divide this by this and divide this by this. This is going to go with this. Now 2 to the power of x is equal to 8 divided by 2 and that is 4. Remember I said we are going to introduce log, right? So at this point we can take log of both sides. Log 2 to the power x equals log 4. Now the power goes behind. So we have x log 2 equal to log 4. Now we can divide both sides by log 2 so that x will be alone. Divide by log 2. This is going to cancel this and x is equal to log 4 over log 2. Now we don't have to stop over here. This is the same thing as x being equal to log 4 to base 2. What I have done is to change the base. Now, do you know that this is the same thing as x equal to log 2 to the power of 2 to base 2? Okay, so these are the same thing. And um, remember that the power can always go behind. So we have x to be equal to 2 log 2 to base 2. And then when you have log of the same number to the same base, what happens is that the whole of this will be equal to 1. So our x will be equal to 2 multiplied by 1, and that is 2. So the value of x is 2. Now, let's try the second method. I believe that um, the second method will be faster than this, right? Almost the same, except that we won't introduce the log, just like we did in this case. Now, let's go. Okay, so the second method, very quickly, um, we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 8. Like I told you, we are adding this 2, so we have 2 of 2 to the power of x, and this is equal to 8. Divide by 2, divide by 2, this will go, and 2 to the power of x is equal to 8 divided by 2, and that is 4. Now, what we did before, we introduced log to this. But now, we are not going to introduce log. What we'll do is to make sure that we have the same base. So, 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 times 2. Because 4 is 2 times 2, right? Now, 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 times 2. That would be 2 to the power of 2. Now, we have the same base. Therefore, our x is equal to 2. Because if the bases are equal, then the powers should also be equal. Thank you for watching. God bless.